How are we doing today? Nice to see you. We're here to talk about A3000. This is a Sony A3000. Um, quite arguably, one of the best inexpensive mirrorless cameras you're going to get. Now, there are some downfalls to it, and I'll tell you about them. Uh, major downfall is the um, viewfinder, the electronic viewfinder. It leaves a lot to be desired. It's grainy, fuzzy, but once you know that about it, you can be rest assured that the photo you're taking is incredible. It's perfect. As long as you trust your settings and frame your shot, you're going to get a good picture out of it. Um, but the EVF leaves a ton to be desired. I don't necessarily mind the controls on it. The controls are actually pretty easy to use. Um, I saw a lot of complaints about the uh, controls and uh, how hard they are to, uh, to use. And I, I just don't find that to be the case. I find it they're uh, exactly uh, extremely easy to use. Um, the uh, everything is done through this uh, one dial right here. Everything is turned through this one dial, and you simply just click to move to the different aperture or to shutter speed, and then you click to the right, and you have your fall ISO adjustment. Um, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it to be a, uh, to be a major problem. I actually, uh, I kind of like it. I think it works pretty good. Um, I don't like to use LCD screens. I prefer to use a uh, viewfinder. This one here, you have to click a little button right here to switch between viewfinder and uh, LCD. It's not that big of a deal either. It does have a dedicated movie button right here, and it, uh, if you refer back to, uh, an earlier video, I did a uh, A3000 video test. You can see the quality on it is actually really, really good. Um, it's got your manual function. It's got your shutter priority, aperture priority, program mode. Um, it's also got intelligent auto scene, uh, scenes. And it's even got a really cool panorama on it that takes a little getting used to, but it does work really nice. The lens uh, is an 18 to 55 and it is incredibly sharp for a kit lens it works really really well uh, the autofocus on it is pretty awesome uh, i don't know i don't have much bad to say about it uh, i do not like the viewfinder and they had to cut a corner somewhere and that's where they cut it on the viewfinder viewfinder sucks it doesn't work really good but like i said if you try if you trust in your shot, you're gonna come out with a great photo. Um, I love the video on it for having you know, no real options to change anything. I mean, you can change your settings on your uh, styles, your picture styles, but really you're not gonna get a super flat image out of it that you can uh, work on in post very much. Uh, so you're gonna wanna get it right out of the uh, camera. But uh, yeah, decent camera. Really decent camera, especially for the price. I think right now you can get it anywhere from 240 bucks up to $350. And it comes with the 18 to 55, comes with a lens hood on it. Yeah, I've had really good luck with it. So we're going to uh, take a look at some of the uh, settings on the screen. It's kind of a stripped down uh, NEX uh, menu system, but uh, it's a pretty good menu system. So let's take a look at that. All right, let's take a look what we got here. So we're going to fire up the screen. There we go. That's your LCD. If we want to go into the menu system, just click display. And there you go. It's real simple. You're just going ahead and scrolling through your settings. All right, brightness and color. Playback, your setup menu, and also you'll see a handy little screen, which you can shut that off too. That just uh, explains to you how to um, 
do the different functions. I left it on so you can see. Each time you go there, it tells you what each function is. So that's a pretty handy little uh, extra setting for people who don't understand uh, the camera yet. So let's just go into camera settings. You can see you have your autofocus, manual focus setting. Now, again, uh, like on a Canon or something, you have to switch right on the lens that autofocus or manual focus. You do have to go into your um, menus for that. But quite frankly, uh, when I'm do this thing, autofocus on it works incredible. So, you know, even in video, the autofocus really, really works good. So not really worried about that. Um, set up your areas that kind of stinks uh, setting up your autofocus area if you're doing a tracking or uh, a follow focus It's it's hard to set that up. I just basically have it set to a center point focus and shoot On my subject focus comp compose and shoot um, Recognition facial smile shutter. I don't use that, but there it is Auto object framing now. It's pretty cool uh, it will um, frame a picture the way it thinks it would look good. So it'll set it up in thirds, um, make a picture uh, horizontal instead of vertical, or vertical instead of horizontal. It just depends on how it thinks the picture would look better. And let's see. Soft skin effect. I don't use that. Tips for shooting. Now that's pretty cool. If you don't know what you're doing with your camera. LTD settings, finder settings. So drive modes. I got to set the single shot. You can set it to burst, which, yeah, it doesn't have a very high burst rate. So not really any, any sense there. Uh, set your image size. You can do uh, your movie settings, your file formats, JPEG, large, medium, and small, or JPEG and RAW. I also don't like that it, you have to shoot JPEG and RAW. You can't just shoot RAW. But at least it has the raw option in there that you can shoot in raw. Set your aspect ratios, quality, panorama. Um, a lot of these are dictated by where you have your dial set. So some of the options won't be uh, available. Brightness and color. The flash is kind of weak on it. I mean, I guess it's enough. But uh, it also have all, it has all the picture effects. That you can set. All right, pop color. You know, these are pretty standard with Sony and most cameras these days. So, just keep clicking back. Then you got your playback menu just for playing back your pictures. And of course, your setup menu. Format your card. All right. There you go. Takes a few seconds. There, formatted. All right. But uh, it's a simple menu. It really is. It's not a. It's not a very hard one to uh, to work with. But when you go back to your regular, you see down here you've got your compensation bars. Set your aperture and your shutter speeds, and you access back and forth between those by pushing up and down. When you push to the side, you go to your ISO. All right, up to 16,000. This thing shoots relatively noise-free at high ISOs. Uh, I wouldn't go much above 1,600, but at 1,600, it actually didn't look that bad. Um, so, but let's choose down here. As you can see, I'm affecting the shutter speed. I can go down and affect my f-stop. Kit lens goes down to 3.5, up to 5.6. It's a standard 18 to 55. But once you get your muscle memory right and you know what you're switching back and forth between them, you can pretty much do all your adjustments fairly simply. So, there you go. That's that about that. All in all, I'd say that if you're looking for a inexpensive uh, really nice mirrorless camera and remember this uh, is an APS-C sensor in here so it's a uh, it's a same sensor I have in my uh, 700D 
same uh, sensor. So takes really, really good photos. Uh, video is good with it. I would say if you're looking for something no frills, you know, I think it's a great camera, especially for the price. You're going to pay more than that for a decent point and shoot these days. So if you're looking for something DLS, DSLR-ish, and that's what it looks like, a mini DSLR. Um, and it's about $150 cheaper than an SL1 Canon. And I would say it, it shoots as good, if not better. Uh, the video, maybe slightly not as good as an SL1, but, you know, it's really a, it's really a good camera. So uh, I, I recommend it. I think it's a great camera. I give it a good seal of approval. But uh, if you have any questions about the uh, A3000, any specific questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them if I can. But uh, yeah, I think it's a great camera. It really works well. So uh, until next time, we'll talk to you later. And have a great day.